All right, so what's good, y'all? It's your boy, The Lost African. Um, I just got through watching uh, the first Power, what do they call it, spinoff? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to tell you what I like about it. I'm going to tell you what I don't like about it. The first thing that I like about it, the most that I like about it, actually, probably something that most people probably just didn't even pay attention to, but because I am the Afro boy, uh, I caught on to that and I celebrated it as quickly as all outdoors. I love the black and Latino connection. I love the Afro uh, connection that they make as far as with Jerry, Mary J. Blige and her family um, and her their, their father, the kid's father being Puerto Rican. Um, so basically they're just black Latinos, but... Uh, I love that. Like, I actually smiled. I was like, yo, that's dope as hell. Because in reality, uh, that's how it is. Um, especially when they go to a, a, a hood or a neighborhood block, um, you'll see mostly blacks and browns. We live similar side by side, a lot of the same communities. Uh, we go through a lot of the same struggles. So when I saw that and I was like, oh man, this is a happy mixed, you know, um, black and Latino family, that's dope as hell. The, you know, the kids are gorgeous, the, da the daughter's gorgeous. Uh, that was one of the things I like. I like also like the fact that it's Mary J. Blige in there, so it, it gives that sort of hood concreteness. Um, and with Method Man, it's funny to see Method Man play uh, a lawyer, but I like it. You know, it's a different side of a black man that you don't get to see in, in, a, in a powerful standing role. Um, what else do I like? That's about it. I ain't gonna lie to you. It ain't too much I like about it. But what I dislike about it is I don't like the political play, especially with everything that's going on in the world. Um, I hate they keep bringing up this whole Democratic Party bullshit. I, I swear, it, it irritates me. Uh, the Democrats this and the Democrats that. Why the fuck y'all keep talking about goddamn Democrats? Like every other scene. Y'all shitting on the Democrats as if y'all are Republicans. And I'm just trying to figure it out. Are y'all Republicans? Like, who wrote this story? Like, I really want to research that shit. Um, but um, next to that, as you guys know, in Power, the original Power, Tyreek still gets on my goddamn nerves. He got on my nerves the entire Power season. Um, so every time I see his face, I literally get irritated. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love the black man as as an actor. He's trying to do his thing, break down to the movies. But the character, Tyreek, still gets on my nerves. Every time I see his face, I literally get irritated. Uh, because he's done a lot of stupid things that a real street man, or a real street, as we say, real street nigga would never do. Never. Um, you know, a lot of the decisions he made, he got his sister killed, he did a lot of stupid decisions trying to play a role that he was never naturally built for, that he never came around, he's just, he's, he's trying to do something he is not built for. Um, he does have the panaz of his father. I love the Tariq in his new power. He gets on my nerves. I don't love him. He gets on my nerves. He's smart. He's smart. He is. He, he he can turn it off just like James, quick as a hat. But nah, I'm not feeling him. Um. Yeah, I don't like the the whole political thing that they like to mention. Um. Oh, I don't like the way that I feel like he was just a kid, got caught up in a lot of BS from his parents. Yes, his parents did do. Uh. A lot of the BS that got him caught up. His parents are probably the reason that he fell into this uh, lifestyle type of trap. Um, but then again, you know, choices are choices. You know, he had a good life. He didn't have to do a lot of these things. Uh, how, else he's, how else was he supposed to turn out? What you mean how he was supposed to turn out? I'm going to tell you how he's supposed to turn out. I'm going to tell you exactly how he's supposed to turn out. He's supposed to mind his goddamn business. And he was supposed to, what was that school? See, now we got now we got to see... Now I gotta go, what was that, like season five? See, now I gotta go back to like about season five. Cause I can't remember the, the school that James was trying to send him to so he can go live his happy little life and mind his mother of business. He ain't wanna do that though. 
What does Tyreek want to do? Tyreek want to go and play in the streets when in reality, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break down you the reality of it, okay? Because I'm a real street dude. So I'm going to break down you the reality of it, okay? Um, For those who don't know, watch my show. The streets are not fun. Um, I know it looks like fun for a lot of people. Uh, I'm talking in the context of the story and in real life. But I know it looks fun for a lot of people, but it ain't, Joe. It ain't fun. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's a kid. Y'all be acting like y'all ain't do dumb shit when y'all was little. Yes, that's true. We did do dumb things when we was little. But, you know, sometimes people be lucky enough to be like, yo, um, damn, I messed up. But I ain't lose my life. Maybe I should fix it and not try to continue to go down this path. Like his his father, literally, James had, there was a point in, I believe, like season five or season six where he like, yo, you don't have to live this life. They literally built the empire at that time for their kids not to live like them. They had good lives. The man lived in a penthouse. How many black people you know live in a penthouse? Like, come on. I'm not, you not, a lot of, a lot of us because... Of course, people from Chicago and New York are going to love the show for the hood atmosphere. But a lot of us, in reality, would love to have that lifestyle that he did. So he irritates me because he's taking it for granted. And he wants to play with the big dogs who do a lot of the decisions. I'm talking about reality now. We do a lot of decisions because they kind of had to. And once you go down this path, you kind of got to ride it out. Hopefully, you don't die. Um, and I don't think he's realizing that. I think he's having too much fun in getting caught up in what is going on right now. Uh, but I don't like the way that next, I don't like the way. See, see, I really, I really wish you would like tell me if you want to come on the show. Now let's see how this play out. Hey, what's up? You talking about he trying to get caught up with the big dogs that's around him? That's because the big dogs around him is his family. Man, who, that's wait, generally wait. how it. You just said he he should have managed his own business. See, he was too busy trying to get caught up with the big dogs around him. What else he was supposed to do? That's what. Excuse my excuse my hair and stuff because. Nah, cool. I'm I'm gonna tell you in the, in a second, but when you're a when you're a child and you have certain things going on around you, you're a fucking sponge. You're gonna get involved True. in things that you see, especially your daddy, your mama, your uncle Tommy, Lala that played Keisha, whatever her name. Was. Like these are yeah. the people that's around you. So of course you're gonna get in a twin, especially if your daddy is one of the most notorious motherfucking criminals in the city and a, a motherfucking political party. Motherfuckers gonna be at you. I don't know if you want all this cussing on your page, but people gonna hey, be no. at you just because who 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 your parents are. Everybody know that. You know what I'm saying? That's real shit. But it's like it's just gotta, that world. It it is it is that world. But it's like my man didn't have to. A lot of us kind of like we get stuck there because of the decision. He walk into it. How you gonna walk towards you? I ain't gonna lie, Tariq did have some moments where I was like, really, nigga? Exactly. <laughs> Come on now, you can't be like, you ain't but have to But ultimately, like, you ain't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Right now, now I feel you like when Raina got killed and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? But ultimately, I just look, I like to look at the bigger pictures because it's like, that. That that's like saying niggas is the reason, niggas is, niggas is um, caught in situations that they're in right now because of them. Uh, make sure he's straight in the streets i feel like you feel gonna be at you i don't know if you want all this cussing on your page but people gonna be no. at you just because who 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 your parents are everybody know that you know what i'm saying that's real shit but it's like it's just gotta, that world it, it is it is that world but it's like my man didn't have to a lot of us kind of like we get stuck there because of the decision. He walk into it. How you gonna walk towards you? I know? ain't gonna lie, Tariq did have some moments where I was like, really, nigga? Exactly. <laughs> Come on now, you can't be like, you ain't have to But ultimately, you ain't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Right now, now I feel you like when Raina got killed and all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? But 
ultimately i just look i like to look at the bigger pictures because it's like that that that's like saying niggas is the reason niggas is niggas is um caught in situations that they're in right now because of them that's not the case if you look deeper and look at the bigger picture you begin to see why we are still oppressed yeah you know if, if you just focusing on what's on 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 the the, the outer Sorry. layer then it's like yeah, yeah shit, it is us you know what i'm saying because it is yeah. but when you go deep down into that root you will see the bigger picture and that's all i'm saying like i feel you Tariq, he made some messed up decisions but you got to look at what he was born in before he was born you feel me yeah. that's all i'm saying but then now in this new power i, I do like, like the, the way they doing uh his mama they make her herself oh, yeah. she was in the in the in the series before i don't like that she's crying and shit. i mean i know it's, it's it's not fun being in jail but she's doing a lot of crime yeah but then you got to realize from you know the beginning of the first power and then the beginning of this power all the shit that she endured her best friend getting killed her daughter getting killed her husband getting killed her son killing niggas you feel me like it's it, it, she's a totally different tasha from the other power yeah, yeah. you know she's a she's totally broken <laughs> she's totally yeah. broken now and that's that's real that's how life is for real niggas be on their high horse but then you know certain things just occur over time that that really humbles you as a person you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i feel like that's kind of what happened um to tasha yeah real shit. but that's so what, what, she... what uh i'm trying to figure out what part mary j gonna play gonna play in this. I don't know you know part. what so with the this what i was telling my mama last night with the two girls you remember Tariq? the girl was like who is diana <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, the, uh, red, uh, yeah, the light skinned yeah, girl. The I girl. feel like Tariq gotta be cool with both of these girls, and he gotta stay on both of they um Boy. good sides because you know the light skinned girl gonna help him with all of that overwhelming shit that he got going on in college. Cause yeah. you know he got to do he got to do that chrono that chronology 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 class or yeah, whatever like that's called. AP, AP class. Yeah, kind of so he can graduate yeah. in three years. So he got all that extensive work from that. Then he got all this extensive work from his room roommate that he got to make sure all his work get done. That basketball player. Then he got all of this stuff at you know he just got a lot of different stuff. So the girl, the light skinned girl, gonna make sure he's straight in college. And that dark skinned girl. Both of them, Joe. One is. Right and then that dark skinned girl gonna make sure he's straight in the streets i feel like you feel me yeah she gonna she gonna keep him together she might shoot his ass though he better be killed <laughs> but mary j i don't know she seemed like she coming like how tasha was a long time ago yeah she big dog in that shit, real time she real big dog yeah shit. i'm like yeah. dang mary? i like i like the uh but that's what was the biggest thing i liked about it i like the fact that they had mary j in there to keep it Keep it humble, you know. Keep it, keep it hard, and then the uh, the spin of how their family was. So I like the brown, the black and Latino merge. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, don't be walking no up on me no more at, at no airports and stuff. Neither. Hey, <laughs> hey look. Hey, you, you know what, Joe? I just be happy to see y'all. I ain't gonna lie, I be missing y'all. Oh, well, I miss you too. It ain't no y'all, cause you know I ain't part of that community ah. anymore. <laughs> I miss you, blood. I be missing you. Uh, I miss y'all individually. You feel me? Right. I ain't gonna lie. It's like, how long was you there before you left? Cause uh, I want to see if we got the same shit going on. How long was you there? Two, about two and a half years. Okay. So I was there. It would have made two years tomorrow if I would have stayed okay. there. But I had left like two months ago. Right but i'm glad you did that Joe. Like, man you, what you, you know, i was proud of you i do want to come out of your shop i do want to come out of your shop when you yes open. it's gonna i i want my grand opening to be on october 1st but look this is what i was gonna say um was you having dreams about that place after you left <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to see if we on the same <laughs> For real. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, no, man. You know what? I'm going to tell you what happened in real life. I want to have a dream about it, Joe. I know y'all don't know what we're talking about, but anyway, y'all figure it out. So I know uh, <laughs> I want to have a dream about the place, but I ran into a lot of the, um, 
Oh, yeah. 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 I ran about four, five of them. Yeah. I was glad I was cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nah, you really want that cool, motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, hey, but you, hey, but you know what? <laughs> hey, but I wasn't dirty though. I yeah, nah, you was cool. Like, you, know you was cool. But now nah, back to back to your topic at hand. We'll talk more about that later. But yes, um, I'm getting everything together for the store. It's gonna be so nice. It's really extremely small. But Tell everybody what you say or why you want it. So, oh, well, for now, primarily I sell sea moss. I sell the raw sea moss and the sea moss gel. And I also mm -hmm. got some um she some sea moss shea butter that you know everybody really love that shit um fine. yeah it's it's real nice then i sell like yoni steams um people be telling me i need to stop saying um when i talk which is true but i'm working on it <laughs> yeah you know but, i've been working on uh like saying uh you know i've been working yeah on trying to, to get the words to just flow but it yeah. depends on the conversation you feel. we getting better we getting better oh, of course of course but but I'm What's about good, to start. I'm about to start selling in the store. It's gonna be a whole bunch of natural products, just a Did whole bunch of them. I'm a. Mm, I probably sell sea moss and stuff on Etsy, but the stuff that's in the store is probably just gonna be available in the store because I'm not gonna have like big bulks of right. of the products that's in. I'm gonna have big bulks of the sea moss. And the sea shea butter and the thing and those kind of things but like the right. stuff that i have in the stores like i got natural deodorants and natural hair gel and stuff like that it's not going to be big bulk it's just going to be enough inventory for the store so that sure. stuff is not going to go on Etsy now but i'm gonna sell i'm gonna be selling you will see you will see I got you. I got you. but yeah that's how i wanted to you know add my little two cents <laughs> Since we was arguing about Tariq. <laughs> it was one, so get on my nerves. I wish I you well. I don't want him to go to jail. I don't want his mom to stay in jail. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when you get back on here and, and you start covering different kind of topics, you know, like what's going on in the black community, you know, his, history, cultural, political, anything like anything like that, when you start discussing those kind of things, I'm doing, you know. Um I'm doing uh I don't know you want to mention it but for those who don't know i'm doing the juju so i'm battling whether the juju is good or bad and i'm trying to battle the concept of why is it only perceived as being evil because i who is I, juju I, what, what you said what's juju <laughs> my black ass talking about who is juju yeah what is that that sound like jujitsu voodoo Jiu Voodoo? You never, you never heard nobody say you got bad juju? You got, I never heard the term, the term juju. Now I heard of voodoo. I heard of, um, doo doo. I'm just kidding. Oh um, God. voodoo. And it is some other do. What's the other one? What's the other one? But yeah, I've heard of those things, but yeah. But what you were saying about it? No, nah, I was, um, I was going to battle the concept that it doesn't have to be evil. I'm not saying that there aren't evil in the world, evil people that practice it, all of that. I'm just saying, why is it only perceived as evil? Because when you talk to people about Santeria, Santeria is a, another version of it because they all follow the same trends, beads and all that other shit. Mm -hmm. um, that night isn't really looked as evil. Or I'm like, okay, so why do you cringe when I say voodoo? You know what I'm saying? Or why is it only perceived as evil and things like that. Why Them scary movies. Good? Yeah. It's scary the movie. movies. I know it's media. Horror I know it's movies. Media that make people think that, but it is, you know. Yeah, but yeah, definitely dive deep into that because that's that's one of the big, you know, with the shift in the world, with the world, the world has changed. Um, the old world we was just living in six months ago, totally different world. When this coronavirus stuff, um, blows yeah, over our no mindset way. yeah when this coronavirus blow over our mindsets it's not going to be the same anymore so it is going to be people who's going to be curious about um different occults or african history and you know things like that and you're gonna have you we're gonna need people like you to kind of like um challenge the norm that's what i call it challenge challenge the norm and then also explain to them make people more aware of oh, yeah. originality you know what i'm saying make people more aware of these different things 
because we, uh, you know, I don't want to get out of it. Yeah, he was just unaware, you know, subconscious. Like, this is, I was reading a book, it's called, um, you know, who, you know, uh, The Curse of Willie Lynch, right? You know who Willie Lynch yeah, is. Okay. So I've read, a, I'm reading a book called Breaking the Curse of Willie Lynch because he did indoctrinate us tremendously. Well, he used the to indoctrinate us. So right now we're, we're kind of, our illusion is kind of based off um, fabricated subconsciousness. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So a lot of the things that, that, like a lot of the ways that we think and a lot of the things that we know it's fabricated. Our language is fabricated. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Our history like, fabricated. Like, no. Our history fabricated. You know what I'm saying? Our our whole being as a as as a black nation is fabricated. So we we're we're naturally, you know, with the shift in the real, we're natural we're naturally trying to get back to yeah, I tried to open what we were. I tried to talk about like soul food and soul music and the connection that it has to uh, our actual traditions in the motherland, like greens and stuff. Mm -hmm. We've been eating greens and sweet potatoes. That was not natural to America. Mm -hmm. Motherland. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Like, you know, we've always been doing these things. It's changed because it was forcefully changed. Yeah. You know, we, we're, we're, you, what that man say, we're, we're totally westernized. You know what I'm saying? Totally. So definitely get more into that to make people more aware of certain things. And I got your back. You know, if you want to tag me in, holla at me, okay? I got you, okay. All right. Well, I'll talk to you a little later. All right. I'll let you. All right. Wait. I don't know how to get off this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man. I know we got on topic. That's my, that's my homegirl. Um, I'll probably bring her on the actual show uh, later in the day. But, yeah, so to give y'all a summary before I go, uh, I love the Latino and Black connection that they make with the family, the bridging of the family. You know, I'm all for my Puerto Ricans. You feel me? I love them. Joe Wepa, you know what I'm saying? But um, I like the fact they added Mary J. Blige. I like the fact that they changed the, the view of the Black man and the way they did it with Bethany Man. I don't like the fact that they... They seem to get too political with me. I don't know who wrote the story because I, I hate they constantly saying the Democrats did this. The Democrats ain't going to like this. I feel like they're Republicans. I don't like none of that, bro. This is supposed to be an entertainment show for me to forget about the world. Stop bringing up fucking Democrats. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't like the way that they're... I mean, I, I got what my sister was saying as far as, you know, she been through a lot. You know, Tasha been through a lot, but... And all the other seasons, Tasha was a, was a t was a, a tough girl. So I kind of was like, "Yo, where where the strong Tasha at? She out here crying and whatnot." You know, I know it's emotional. You locked up in jail. I'm just saying, like, damn. Um, other than that, I just want to see. I'm gonna see how it progresses. You know, I'm gonna do a recap. I'm probably gonna do this. Is probably gonna be like a fun little topic for me, y'all. I'm gonna share with y'all. Do my recap maybe every episode or so. And then I'll let y'all know. But I'm the Lost African. Please subscribe, like, share this. Follow my page on Instagram, Lost African Podcast, Spotify, Lost African. Um, you'll see the same logo. Well, not logo. It's not my logo. You'll see the same picture that represents on my page. Um, and here my Facebook page, The Lost African. And I'll holler at y'all later.